Hey everybody in YouTube land. This video is somewhat related, but somewhat unrelated to what I normally post. But what I'm actually doing here today is I'm reverse engineering this card, among some other things, for the Macintosh Portable because I need to figure out logically how this card works. And the reason being is I made a video year, two years ago about doing a backlight upgrade on my 5120. So in order to get the backlight brightness adjustable and being able to do it with the control panel, you need to clone this card and these cards are rather rare. This is the portable backlight upgrade. Basically takes a 5120 along with this cable right here. This plugs into the 5120 and it plugs into a standard 5126 backlit LCD display. This goes to the panel. This connector goes to the inverter. And as you can imagine, I've been doing some pinouts to figure out what they all go to. So anyways, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is what I call a electronics engineering fail blunder. Let me show you, shall we? So this is going to be fun to do in the camera. Um, let's see if I can focus it. All right, basically this connection here is the five volt bus as indicated right here. Uh, this is also the five volt bus right here. Now, the, here, here's how this is designed. And this is what, this is what really ugh, it, it just makes my head hurt. So we have the VCC line coming in here and it goes through the board through this via connection over to just right under this pin. So it comes up through this pin, powers this chip, goes through, powers this chip, and comes into this filter. And that's not a good idea for multiple reasons. One being these two chips are going to put noise on the VCC rail before it even gets to that filter. But anyways, not only that, but it keeps going across, connects, comes through the board, powers this, this transistor here, which actually switches the voltage off to the inverter. Now, it also keeps going, comes through the board here, powers these two chips, comes through the board, or it keeps going, comes through here, powers this chip, and comes through, powers this one, and also loops back down and connects to this capacitor. Well, <laughs> so this capacitor really isn't doing jack shit, not for these chips back here, because it's going to take the path of least resistance, which is going to be over here. Anyways, it gets better. So we have this nice little RC um, filter here. Uh, well, not RC, LC filter. This is an inductor, and that's a little tank, tank little capacitor. Okay, but this is the part that really, see, it's a 10 microfarad, 16 volt. I'm not sure what value that is. I'd have to read it. But this is the part that really, really burns my biscuits. So, let's see. We have the output of the filter. Where is it going? Well, it's going to this bypass cap. Okay. And this bypass cap is connected to this bypass cap. Uh, and then it goes through the board to another bypass cap. This is ground. And it keeps going, it comes through to these other two bypass caps. And it keeps going and comes out right there to these two bypass caps. And that's it. Well, <laughs> the point of a bypass capacitor is to absorb transients that occur from the chip right next to it. Because as the logic is switching inside, it's sagging on the line. It's just generating noise, you know, transient noises on the VCC rail. These capacitors are the reserve tanks for the chips next to it. So when the chip is creating noise, it essentially bypasses the power supply. This becomes the power supply for the period of that um, transient. So this has a low ESR at the specific frequencies. And the ESR is essentially zero at a given kilohertz. So, you know, anyways, beside the point, the ESR goes back up as frequency rises. So you have to have different 
values, but I'm not getting into that. But the point is, this is why this is an engineering fail. What is it bypassing? Take a good look if you can see the problem here. That's right. This cap is not connected to this chip. It's connected to the bus that comes from this filter, while the chip is connected to the separate bus that comes from the host board, the logic board. WTF. What the hell is that? So, that filter is 100% useless because all it is doing is supplying the caps that aren't even bypassing anything. They're not even, they're, they're it does not compute. How, ugh, how's that supposed to work? Can someone explain to me in this, in the comment box below, can someone explain to me why that is, how, how is that supposed to work? It can't, it does nothing. It does essentially nothing. So the VC, if you wanted to filter everything, the VCC would come straight to the filter in and out of the filter, supply everything as well as being connected to the bypass. No, it's not that way. What? So <laughs> my brain hurts. It does not compute. So can anyone please leave a comment that explains how this circuit is supposed to work. Because if not, I think I'm going to file this under the category of you're stupid. So um, thank you for watching.